We're back. More Artie Lang show. Colin Quinn filling in for Artie because Artie is sick. But I know got... Mick Mick wasted his T-shirt. He wore the uh, ah, he yeah. wore the T-shirt for Artie. It's special. This is the uh, <laughs> you smell like beef and cheese. You don't smell like Santa. <laughs> That's from, from Elf. <laughs> this yeah. is a specialty. Audie Lang, yeah. This is a specialty T-shirt, and only someone who's really obsessed with Santa. Uh, you see, mm. I've got double Santas going I on I see there. that. Yeah. When you're oh, wearing yeah. double Santas, when you're 47, you're going double Santa in public, uh, apparently you've got a little bit of a Santa Claus problem. So do you have an obsession with Santa? Uh, a healthy, yeah, a healthy one. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll be the judge of that. <laughs> you know what? I was, I was at Madison Square Garden. And uh, WWE had me in the front row there with, like, Spike Lee on one, one side mm. and Ben Stiller the other. And this beautiful young lady shows up, you know, this beautiful young lady. And I immediately think she's not going to want to talk to me because I look like I look like. <laughs> and it turns out she was a rockette, you know. So immediately I start quizzing her about the Christmas show. And it turns out, like, I didn't even watch the game. I just talked to this beautiful young lady for, like, the, you know, the two hours. And, and as it turns out, if you're talking to a beautiful young lady in the front row, you will be seen on camera. Right, yeah. So I come home, and my wife's like, hey, uh, it looked like uh, quite a game there. Uh, too, bad, uh, too bad you weren't watching it. And I said, uh, what do you mean? She goes, I saw you talking to the girl. Oh. And I said, yeah, yeah, we were having a nice conversation. She said, what, what were you talking about? I said, Santa. <laughs> and she said, no, really. I said, we were talking about Santa. She said, for two hours? I said, yes, for two hours! Oh. <laughs> that's, the, that's the height of my problem. I find a beautiful girl, and I talk to her about Santa Claus. But, but I do. You really I, did? I, I, for... I did. I wow. mean, you can, you know what, you can, uh, she'll she'll vouch, I think she's going to come to the show in Caroline's, and she'll vouch for me. Uh, I do a little bit of Santa, Santa material, and as a matter of fact, I just mentioned to Colin that uh, I, I'm in a documentary uh, called I Am Santa Claus. It follows five Santas around and sees what they do in the off season. So I was oh. like the rookie. I got to do it for the first time, like for real, not just putting on the you know the the the, the outfit and the wig. But I I dyed the. Uh, I'll get you. I'll get a picture going while we're talking here. And we have our Kickstarter coming up. Uh, the movie's all shot, but it's the uh, post production they need. So uh, starting June third, if people go to I Am Santa Claus the movie, there's some good little prizes. You know how these Kickstarters go, sure. and yeah. anywhere from you know for tw twenty five bucks for an autographed picture up to like the whole experience where you can do a variety of things. Sit on but Santa's lap. If that's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's off the table for you, Colin. <laughs> so you love you love being Santa. I did, man. And this is this is funny. We were just talking about the fact that it doesn't matter if there's uh, two thousand or, or twenty when it, when you're doing comedy. I, I just I, I had the great fortune to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Uh, in um, congratulations, I appreciate that. That's great. Um, in Madison Square Garden, and it was one of the best moments of my life. You know, it was 17,000 sure. people, and this is, you know, arguably the most famous arena in the world. And it, not only that, it was the arena where I grew up uh, going to and hitchhiking to, where I saw Snuka come off the top of the, the cage. And huh. when I had wow. my... Superfly uh, Snuka. Yeah, yeah Superfly Snuka. Here I am scanning for my Santa photos. Uh, when, and, I, and I really absorbed it. I really loved it. I looked out there, and I had, you know, my family out there and, uh, you know, had friends from childhood out there and uh, fellow wrestlers and the legendary wrestlers. And uh, I, I was able to use a couple of little lines that I would throw in, you know, in one right. of my shows that, that worked out well. But I'll tell you what, you know, in the same way, you say, all right, that was an amazing experience. But I wouldn't necessarily say it was that much better than really having that great night in front of 200 Hilarious. And I don't know if it was that much better than having that kid who looks in your eyes and uh, and you know and then thinks you're Santa. I wow. mean, you know, I know I, I, for a lot of people, you know, one of I wrote an article for Slate.com talking about Santa and the fact that uh, you know Artie could get away with being a Santa who smelled like beef and cheese, and <laughs> you know, it's almost like depicted in some of the movies, like uh, you know, Billy Bob Thornton was like a Santa in demand who looked nothing like Santa yeah. at all. And this and this this was what I that's how I did it. That's how I rolled. This was uh, that's my daughter sitting next to me. 
Wow. And so I uh, I did the beard and everything. So uh, I this, loved it, yeah. This is a real beard? That's real, man. Wow, that yeah. really puts you over the top as a Santa. When, when, when you, you go real like beard. Like De Niro of, of Santa. I was an accent. <laughs> How do you get it white? I mean, that's got to be tough to get that. It burns, man. It's a, wow. it's a bleaching process. So it's about five, six hours. and uh, That's amazing. They said, you know, uh, get, you know, scale of one to ten. You've probably heard that, you know, in football, you know, scale of one to ten, the pain level. <laughs> yeah. And then I, I yeah. said nothing until about four hours in and I just said eight they went eight what I said eight on a scale of eight to ten <laughs> my skin is now burning wow. but yeah. uh, that's, that's incredible there are uh, wrestlers you know who can who are like artists out there and there are wrestlers like me that needed to take a couple good shots to get them in the oh, right you, frame of mind and that's what I was as a Santa you I needed really that look burning. like him you really look like Santa yeah. that's now I've, I've tried to do the Santa thing when I was playing I had the opportunity to go to the mall and put on the suit and have kids sit on me and stuff and I was very uh, frustrated with my sweatiness in that suit and Did you, you have were, a similar problem I mean, it's hot well, did and they, you got the lights on and you the, know who would make a heck of a Santa mangled he's uh Oh, you're right. Right, right. You're right. I think, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's where you went wrong. Is you have a teammate who's custom made to be Santa already. Well, being a huskier guy to begin with, I mean, I I sweat at the drop of a hat. <laughs> you throw any sort of thick quilted clothing on me, and then put some lights on, and I'm just I'm. But how did you feel with the, when the kids were there? Oh, it was you know it, it's special. It's really yeah. special. And I I have three kids now, all of whom I think still believe in Santa. They're still right at that, yeah, yeah, eight, six, and two. So Santa's really special to me too. I just didn't know that you had an obsession it's, like uh, this. That's but I, a I healthy it, obsession. It's a healthy obsession. Yeah, sure.